most young women are taught badly that the most important thing that they'll do in their life is their career. And that's simply not true. It's not true for most people and certainly not true for most women. I certainly wasn't taught that myself. I, I feel like I'm doing quite well in my career, but yeah. I still have pressures. Uh, people who are saying, you know, when are you actually going to see, su succeed properly by having a baby? Yeah. I kind of find yeah. that slightly offensive. I'm 38. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like I've got through my early 30s uh, without that, without almost luckily, oh. when I look at what my friends have to deal with, with their children, oh. I almost feel a little bit blessed. Mm -hmm. What do you say to that? Well, I would say that it starts to get pretty lonesome in life after 45 if you don't have a family, you know, and so it's, it's easy to consider the utility of an intense career. And, and like you have a very high quality career too, you know, it's that, that's something that marks you out from maybe from, let's say more typical people. And maybe perhaps that's worth more of a sacrifice, but you know, you're going to be, you're going to live till you're 90 in all likelihood, and it's not easy to consider the, your life across its entire span. And there's something to be said for developing a very close knit, intimate community around you if you can manage it. You have children, and then you have grandchildren, and that, to me, my, in, what I've experienced in my life, although I've had a very uh, productive career and a very interesting career. Um, it's definitely been the case for me that my family has been more and more important to me as I've got older. And I don't think that that's an uncommon experience.